Pharmacy at Portside Clinic and today we are going to be talking about the science behind laser tattoo removal and the differences between the equipment that is available on the market at the moment. Here at Pulsite Clinic, we have the best equipment around. So we have not only one, not two, but we have three different types of lasers for tattoo removal. There isn't another clinic in the UK that has the ability to deliver the amount of different laser systems that we have. So we're one of the few people that can give you a really genuine comment on exactly what laser should be used for what skin type and what ink type. So let's start with black ink. Black ink is one of the easiest colors to treat and of course it's the most popular. So we mostly get people coming in with black ink for a tattoo. Now when it comes down to skin type, that's when we start to vary the treatment. So if a client's got a skin type, what we call 1 to 3 Fitzpatrick, so that's Caucasian, like Mediterranean skin type. The Pico Shaw is a fantastic machine. We've got the ability to use either of the three lasers. So we can use the Pico Shaw, we can use the Pico Way, or we can use the Q Switch. Now the only difference is that the Q Switch is slightly slower. This treatment is older technology, but in some instances it can be required. So that's why we have that. And we also have the latest Q Switch technology as well. With the Pico lasers on black ink, we tend to find it's an average of six sessions with a Pico laser. So that's with Pico Shaw or Pico Way. Now when we're looking at the Q-Switch laser, because of the way the technology is developed, it's older, it does take slightly longer. The reason is, is that it doesn't get the molecules of ink into as smaller size pieces as we can achieve with the Pico Second. Because a Q-Switch laser is nanosecond technology. So with the Q-Switch laser, we're usually expecting to see 12 to 15 sessions. So if affordability wise you're looking for a cheaper laser, that's the way to go. But it will take you longer to remove the tattoo. Now if a client comes in with shading on skin types 1 to 3, we usually find that starting off on the Pico Show is a really good technique. The reason for this, the Pico Show is a 755 nanometer laser. It's a superficial laser. It's really, really good at removing shading. Now a lot of clinics don't really talk about this because of course, unfortunately, they don't have both pieces of equipment like we do. But the Pico Show is fantastic at lighter black ink removal. So we might use a combination. A lot of the time when clients come in with fair skin with black ink, we put them on a Pico Show to start with, and then we might move them to the Pico Way, which is a 1064 nanometer and it's slightly deeper in the skin. Um, now moving over to darker skin types. So if you're a skin type four and five, um, then the Q switch laser would be beneficial because it's not as strong, it's not putting as many picoseconds as it's nanosecond into the skin. There's less chance of pigmentation and this is obviously a higher risk with darker skin so it's something that you definitely need to consider. Again coming in for the free consultation will assess you properly and will tell you which laser you best to start with. Now if you have a lot of shading and you've got darker skin with black ink then the Q switch laser would be absolutely fantastic to start with. It's not too aggressive and shading does not need a lot of energy because if you put too much energy into shading you get pigmentation that backfire on the skin. So we would really like to start then with the Q-Switch laser. For darker skin types we do not use the Pico Shaw. The reason for this is it's a really superficial laser. It hits melanin. It's not suitable for skin types 4, 5 and 6. So if you've got a lot more melanin in the skin do not do the Pico Shaw laser. What we have instead is a really new treatment called the Pico Way. We're one of the few in the UK to have this equipment. Now because of the fact that it's a, it's a 1064 nanometer laser, it bypasses melanin. So it is not gonna hit the melanin in the skin. So we will use a combination of either the Q-Switch or just the Pico Way alone, uh, depending on what your tattoo looks like for the darker skin types. And it's super, super effective. It's still just around six sessions, sometimes up to eight depends more on the area of the body for the amount of time that it takes really. Now when it comes to coloured ink, we're an absolute pro at removing this. The reason, we have the Pico Shaw and the Pico Way. Now both of them are really good at removing all coloured ink types, but having both of them in the same clinic makes it even better. So when we have things like blue and green ink, Pico Shaw is absolutely fantastic. It's a 755 nanometer laser, so it hits blue and green really, really well. There's a common misconception because years ago, Ruby laser, which was all that we had for blue and green ink, was super, super slow, and it was quite aggressive on the skin. We've moved on, we're not using that anymore. We have the Pico Shaw, fantastic at green and blue ink reduction. 
The only problem with this particular equipment is it's only suitable for fair skin types. So we can use it up to a very light Asian Mediterranean skin tone. Again, coming in for the assessment is really important because each area of a person's body could be a different skin tone as well. So we need to have a look at you to determine whether we can use that. But it goes really fast. I've seen it go in one session before. So we can get rid of blue and green very quickly now with the PicoShell laser. When it comes to reds, purples, these colours, oranges, we have the 532 on both pieces of equipment. So again, we're one of the few people in the UK to have a 532 Pico Second Laser on two pieces of equipment. We have it on the Pico Shore and we have it on the Pico Way. Now, with the 532 laser, it's quite an aggressive laser, but it's so good at removing reds, oranges, purples, this sort of light spectrum. It usually works very, very quickly as well. So within one to two treatments, usually clients have seen a really rapid reduction in ink. So again, coming in for the consultation is super important because we need to assess your skin properly for this. However, it works really, really quickly and usually within six sessions, the red ink has completely disappeared or orange, purple, etc. Now, with regards to the last few remaining colours you might have noticed I've missed out. Yellow is classed as irremovable. However, 99% of the time with the Pico Way equipment that we have and Pico Shore, we can tackle yellow ink for most clients. When you come for the assessment, we have a way of telling whether the yellow is likely to go or not, and of course we'll do a patch test, so that will help us as well. There's a certain type of yellow ink that is really difficult to remove, so when you come in for the consultation, we'll give you a bit more information on that, but we'll absolutely try our best to get rid of it for you because we have the best equipment to do that. So yellow is a little bit of a difficult one because technically it's not removable, but we've got rid of a lot of yellow ink on previous clients. Lastly, white ink. Now, white ink is obviously not a colour, so it's not removable. The white does not absorb laser light, so there is no laser that removes white ink. We actually actively avoid it at the clinic. It is a small risk that you can get oxidisation. This means that the laser light being absorbed into the white, the little bit that does, it can actually react with the ink and cause a different colour uh, to appear. Now, on rare occasions, some people have pastel colours or they have white mixed in with the rest of the ink and it's really difficult to see. Um, so we do try our best to look for that. Obviously, if you've got white ink and you know, then obviously let us know when you come for the consultation. But that's what the consultation is all about, to determine these things for you and try and advise the best machine. Um, there are different reactions on different machines. The Pico Shore is more likely to blister. The Pico Way is more likely to give you pinpoint bleeding. So each time that you come to the clinic, you'll see that we'll take you into a different room if we need to. We'll explain what's happening with the skin. We take photos every time and we'll educate you on why we're using different equipment and what the next step is with your laser tattoo removal journey. Laser tattoo removal works by smashing the ink fragments into smaller particles. So when you've had a tattoo done, your tattoo will sit in different layers of the skin. What we have to do is start at the very top and we work our way down. We smash the ink as we go. So each session, on a nanosecond Q-switch laser, you're removing about one layer of ink and on average there's 12 layers in a tattoo. So that's 12 sessions. If you're using a picosecond technology laser, which is what we mostly have, Pico Shore and Pico Way, we're removing around two layers of ink at a time. So we're starting again at the top and we're removing two layers of ink. So what we're actually doing is we're smashing the ink from the top down. So we're smashing the ink into smaller fragments, it disperses under the skin, which is what you feel that slight discomfort when you're having the laser session done. And then your body will attack it because it's a foreign body. Your white blood cells will come and they'll encapsulate every little piece of ink that we've broken into smaller pieces. It then gets carried out and through the bloodstream and disposed of. So that's why it's a slow treatment program. It's because of the gap that we have to leave between the sessions to allow your body to do all of that. It's not a quick process. Us breaking down the ink takes us two minutes. Your body getting rid of the ink takes us eight weeks. So that's why it's usually around a year for treatment. Some of our lovely clients have given us access to their photos for after the treatment. So I think it's really important when you do tattoo removal that you're aware of the fact that the normal side effect of tattoo removal is blistering and pinpoint bleeding. Um, so generally with the Pico Shore laser, because it's a superficial laser, we generally find that we get more blistering with that machine. 
So we do advise that when you come in for the consult or when you come in for each treatment, especially if we're moving you between machines on purpose to get you a better result, we will remind you, okay, so we're doing the Pico show today, you're more likely to get blistering. Another thing that's really important to take into consideration, which of course we will mention, is the area of the body because this is what leads to having a stronger reaction after a treatment. So if you're doing um, tattoo removal on your chest and it's close to the heart, then your downtime is going to be a lot less because you've got such a strong blood supply to the torso area, you're usually going to find that the blistering and pinpoint bleeding is going to be a lot less, there's less trauma to the skin, so great. If you're doing somewhere like the lower leg, the distal extremities, so lower arms, lower legs, you generally find that the reaction is going to be more severe. Now this should have put you off doing the treatment, you just need to be prepared and educated. Of course we bandage you up really really well before you leave the clinic anyway and you can keep buying medical grade bandages that we do recommend after your session as well. A really good tip is to keep your arm or your leg elevated if you are doing those areas for a few days after each treatment because that will allow the blood flow to really get to that area and speed up the healing process as well. So blistering completely normal and we're going to pop some pictures in as well for you to see some of our clients that have had that. Um, they do look quite dramatic but I reassure you so much that within a few days the blistering is gone. So it can last up to a week, that is quite unusual, just usually a few days of blistering. Avoid the gym during that time period, try and have cooler showers, no hot baths uh, and no friction and you will be absolutely fine. The skin surprises you, it heals so quickly after this treatment. Do not pop the blisters by the way, um, that's really important. With the Pico Way laser, we are more likely to get something called pinpoint bleeding. The reason for that is because it bypasses the surface of the skin, the peak away, and it's looking for that deeper sort of pigment in the skin. Um, it does hit the blood vessels because of the depth of that laser. So pinpoint bleeding is completely normal, especially as you get further on into the treatment. We're right at the bottom of the laser vein because we're getting into that last little bit, trying to get rid of that last little bit for you, trying to get rid of that shadow that's been created or left behind. And to do that, we have to go quite aggressively into the skin. So we're going to bypass all the skin at the top where there's no ink left because we've got rid of it and we're trying to get that ink at the bottom Well, it's really close to blood vessels. So we're going to hit them and you're going to get pinpoint bleeding but we bandage you really well after the treatment and of course you can keep rebandaging if necessary afterwards. The skin heals very quickly so within a couple of days that's over with and there'll just be slight scabbing to the skin. Again, avoiding heat afterwards, sauna, steam rooms, that sort of thing and friction and exercise until that's cleared up and then you're good to go. Thank you for watching our video today on laser tattoo removal. I thought it was really important to share with you the differences in the, in the lasers, especially as we're one of the few clinics that has the ability to talk about that from an honest background when we have all the equipment here. So if you'd like to book in for a free consultation for tattoo removal, do so and we will point you in the right direction of the right machine and equipment and explain why that is needed for your tattoo and guide you through that process as well.